What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the show. So I'm sure you guys have seen this already. Mitch McConnell had a brain freeze on live television. And he was doing a, a press conference, a press conference he does every week. And uh, we'll show you the clip of, of him just having this, this pause for about 30 seconds. And so it was a very, very scary moment. And I want to talk about two things. I want to talk about term limits for politicians. And I also want to talk about the situation as it happened, how his colleagues responded, because I think that's something else that we need to focus on. But first off, if you guys can do me a favor, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that little bell notification, and then click all. By clicking all, you'll get notified anytime we post a video. We do daily videos here, so by clicking the bell notification and clicking all, you should be getting updated every day. Once again, thank you guys all for your support. I really appreciate it. And if you'd like to follow me on threads, you can at the TEC show live. Okay, so let me show you the clip first, and then we'll talk a little bit about it. Here we go. After finishing the NDA uh, this week, it's been good bipartisan cooperation, and a string of So this is the, uh, we're coming up on the one year anniversary of the IRA, and um, of course. Uh, okay, so there it was. Now, I've never seen anything like this before, and I've been following politicians for a very, very long time. I've never seen any politician just freeze like that for 30 seconds and just look like they're not in this world, like they it completely just blacked out. And so I've never seen anything like this. Now. Mitch McConnell said that he was okay. He did come back. So what they did is they walked him off. I guess he went into uh, his office, and then he came back about 15 minutes later. And that's all he said when he came back. They asked him questions, and he was just like, I'm okay, I'm okay. Could you address what happened here at the start of the press conference? And was it related to your injury from earlier this year where you suffered a concussion? Is that... No, I'm, I'm fine. fine. You're fully able to yeah. do your job? And, you know. Mr. Lear, can I... And so why is it important that these politicians are healthy and that they're okay? It's important because they represent the American people. And Mitch McConnell represents his constituents. He actually represents all of us because he is the minority leader in the Senate. And so he has a lot of sway when it comes to different legislation and things like that. Also, if Republicans take back the majority in the Senate, guess who is the leader? He's the leader again. And so it's very important that he's healthy and that he's okay when it comes to his, his brain function and all that. And so that's the, that's the first concern that I have. Now, I want to talk about these two key things. The first thing I want to talk about is, did you see the response? The response by his colleagues. They were very, very slow to act. And what that leads me to believe is, this, hasn't, this is not the first time this has happened. This has probably happened before, and that's why they were waiting. Because usually you're not going to wait for 30 uh, seconds before you respond. If, if it's something that you've never seen before, you're going to think, okay, what's going on? and you're really going to show concern a lot faster. But in this situation, it took them 30 seconds before they even said, are you okay? Hey, why don't, we, why don't you go, go to your office and, and we'll, we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and carry on. So they pretty much, they're used to this. This has happened before. And I'm sure in the future, we're probably going to find that out. But because there's a lot on the line when it comes to these lawmakers and the fact that we have a slim majority, the Democrats have a slim majority, they don't want to do anything when it comes to Mitch McConnell, having Mitch McConnell step down or resign or anything like that. And so they cover for him. OK, now this is on both sides. Both Democrats and Republicans do this. And we saw a similar situation when it comes to Senator Feinstein. You had Republicans calling for her to resign, uh, but she's still there because Democrats are, are pretty much protecting her. Now we're going to see Republicans protect Mitch McConnell. McConnell and Democrats are going to call uh, for Mitch McConnell to resign. And it's gotten so bad now. I mean, it's it's these people are here to represent us. It, and they need to be able to function in their job. And if they can't function in their job, new people need to come in. That's the bottom line. I don't care if they're a Democrat or a Republican. And so when we look at situations like that, it's very, very hard to watch uh, someone like this. I mean, he's 81 now. Yes, he's getting up there in age, but he just had some issues. He had a concussion a few months ago. And so he might still be suffering from that. 
And I think the American people should know how his health is. Every year we get a checkup regarding the president. We should also be getting checkups, especially if these people are leaders in, in Congress, because they, they carry a lot of weight. Now, one more thing that I want to talk about, term limits. This is something that I don't understand why. Like, the president has a term limit, so he can only serve two terms. Why don't Congress people have a term limit? We have House members and Senate members that have been there for years, 20 and 30 years. You should not be in this elected position for that long. It just should not happen. We should have some type of term limits. When it comes to the House, maybe allow them to do six full years, so two years, two years, and two years. And when it comes to the Senate, allow them to do two terms, so they'll get 12 years. So that's what we should be looking at. Now, if, the, if you're a congressperson, you could be a congressperson for six years and then become a senator uh, for another two terms. I can understand that, but not having these politicians just sitting in the office for 20 and 30 years. And so I want to know how you guys feel about this when it comes to these politicians. Should they be in office for this long, or should we really be looking into how long they've been there? And maybe this would cut down on some of the situations that we're, we're seeing right now, especially when it comes to their health, and then when it also comes to just party politics and politicians that have been there so long, now they have the seniority and they're just automatically leader. And Mitch McConnell, if he's not functioning well, then you have other people who are controlling him and he's not really representing you. Okay, so I have some new information about Mitch McConnell. It looks like he is going to stick this out. So. Mitch McConnell vows to serve his full term as Republican leader. So he has no plan to, to step down after all of this stuff that's happened. And then we also saw another incident with Senator Feinstein where she pretty much had to be told to just say I. She was trying to read off a, or do a little speech when it was just time to vote. And so not clear exactly what to do. You saw our staffer step in and the staffer was telling her, you know, whispering in her ear. And then one of her colleagues said, just, you know, just say I. It funds priorities submitted. Yeah, just say I. Okay, just I. <laughs> Thank you. And so when we're seeing politicians not understanding what's going on, that's a very dangerous thing. Because now you have staffers that are pretty much controlling what you do and, and, and basically dictating what you do. And when we elect people into office, we elect those people to serve us. So not their staffers, not other colleagues. We vote for them to represent us. And so it just shows you Mitch McConnell with this situation that he had. I mean, very, very scary. Obviously, he's going to need to, to see a doctor. I think they did say that, that he will... Uh, eventually go to see the doctor to find out what exactly what transpired there. He said he felt dizzy, but he was he didn't even speak. He could have easily said, if he was dizzy, he could have easily said, you know what, I'm going to step away and let someone else talk uh, for a minute, and then I'll come back. He could have said that. It still would have been, people still would have been concerned, but by him just not saying anything, that, that was just really, really a scary situation. And then we also found out that he had a couple more incidents where he actually fell. And this information was not shared to the, to the American people. And remember, Leader McConnell has been there for a very, very long time. I think he is the all-time longest serving leader. And that just shows you how beneficial these, these jobs are to them because they are not willing to give them up for, for any reason. So I just want to know what you guys think about this whole situation. Do you think it's time for Leader McConnell to go? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe for more. And I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.